Hello and welcome back. And uh, we are continuing our discussion on providing details about NGSPICE, a free circuit simulator or an open source circuit simulation software. And we have compiled a few videos earlier about how to download and install the NGSPICE on your computer with the MS Windows operating systems. And the second video was about what NGSPICE is, what are its useful features and applications and all that. And uh, just recently, we also got the module on uh, the basic uh, circuit design and simulation using NGSPICE. So this is next module that we are going to talk about today. So as you can see that this is a circuit with just a passives that is registers and the capacitors and we are going to do some analysis of this circuit. And uh, this is basically a two, uh, a second, uh, two, two or we, we would say dual RC circuit. So there is a one pair of R and C, R1C1 and there is another pair of R and C that is R2 and C2. R1 is 10K, R2 is 1K, C1 is 1 micron, C2 is 100 nanometer, 100 nanofarad. Now we have a DC voltage source V1 uh, that we can apply to this circuit. And here are the names of the nodes. This node is called as in, this node is called as out. And here, this node is called as INT. You can give some different names like A, B, C, something like that, or X, Y, Z, something like that. Okay, so now just note that with this star symbol, instead of a DC voltage source, I want to apply a pulse uh, to the circuit as an input. So this is how the syntax of defining the pulse voltage source or a pulse current source can be. So initial value is zero, final value is five volt, then there is a delay of one micron, then there is a rise time of one micron, fall time of one micron, and then there is a pulse width and the pulse duration, one second each. So basically, I am going to apply a time domain signal as an input and I'm expecting the output waveform in a time domain form. So if you use the breakboard, you can use the hardware components, R and C, and then connect such a uh, power source as indicated. And then on the oscilloscope, you can note the input and output and even the intermediate voltages uh, for this uh, particular uh, circuit. So how basically uh, we are going to simulate and analyze the response of this circuit using NGSPY software. So how we do that? So to do that, we need to recall that NGSPY doesn't have a feature where we can draw such schematic entry. Uh, for that, if we want that, to draw, draw it uh, in a schematic way, we need another software uh, which is called as third party interface such as KiCad as I explained earlier. So you can use those tools, uh, not only KiCad, there are many other softwares uh, to draw such schematic, connect them as shown, and then voltage sources, other components, put the labels on the nodes, and then generate a spice net list out of that tool then that spice netlist you can bring to ng spice to simulate and analyze but now with purely and only ng spice available on your computer what you can do you can describe this circuit in terms of some syntax some commands which is called a spice tick so there is a netlist it is called as a netlist so for this netlist the uh, netlist can be written like this as shown right over here. So I will also show you how we can actually uh, write the netlist uh, for our case. So what I'll do here, I will just open the notepad. Uh, for example, I have uh, written this uh, same netlist right over here. The title of the circuit, I gave it the name as dual RC ladder. Then I described that R1 is my component Remember, this is just a text file. I just open the net pad, notepad from my computer and start typing this syntax. So I now define R1, uh, which is connected between two nodes, INT and IN. 
So here is I and T and I and I can also write because it is a non-polarized uh, component. I can also say it is connected between I and and I and T. So I write I and here and I and T here. Then I define its value, which is 10 K. Then I say I have voltage source, which is connected between I N and zero. Zero is the ground of the circuit and it is a DC uh, voltage source. It is uh, then uh, it, it is a DC voltage source. Uh, then it is a pulse. And then, uh, as I said, this is like initial value, final value are logic zero and logic high, uh, then uh, delay, rise time, fall time, pulse uh, width and the pulse duration. You can see the syntax of this voltage source by opening the ng spice manual or just type help in the ng spice. So here is this uh, ng spice that I have installed and I have opened this. Uh, I will show you in a moment. So then R2 is uh, said that to be connected between I and T and out. So here it is written out and I and T, it has a value of 1K. Then remains to two capacitors. C1 is one micron, which is between I and T and zero. So I and T and zero, one micron. C2 is between out and zero, and it has a value of 100 nano farad. And then I end the spice deck with this command dot end. Okay. So uh, with this uh, said and done, uh, I have completed this uh, net. I will, what I'll do, I will save it. Save as, uh, I will have to save it in the folder in which ng-spice uh, files have been extracted. So remember in the previous module, we have explained that uh, after downloading, uh, we extracted the files from the zip file into this folder, ngSpice, and then we got this folder, Spice64. Inside this folder, if we double click, we've got these many folders. And then we have this bean folder into which I want to save this file right over here. So uh, let me give the name to this file. Let's say file, save as. And now I am in the bin folder, so I will give it like RC circuit. That's it, RC.CIR. Uh, this is how I have to define it. This is just a sec text file, and I will say save it. So if I open this, you actually can see that uh, this is RC now. The file in this bin folder has been saved, and this is my CIR file. Okay. So now with that done, uh, I have also explained in the previous module, I will double click on this uh, ng-spice, which is an execution file, exe file or application file, which will open the ng-spice. Uh, so right here, I have to just ignore these uh, errors. And here it is, uh, I have opened this. I had already opened it already. So here you can see that this uh, ng-spice is now ready. And there is this uh, ng-spice one. And here in the empty space, there is a flash of this bar where you can type the command, right? So what I'll do, I will first load the file that I have created. What is my file? This is the file name of it is RC. Okay, so I will load this file. Uh, but before loading, let me tell you what we want to do with this. So here you can see, um, we just described what the voltage source V1 is. And uh, we know that this is like uh, zero to five volt voltage source. Okay. And then this is a pulse voltage source. Uh, there is a low voltage, there is a high voltage, there is a time delay, the rise time, fall time. Then there's a pulse width and the pulse period. And then one more uh, point would be about phase of the signal if you want to define that, okay? So uh, so, so we have this pulse from uh, zero to five volt, okay? And now if you scroll down, the pulse period and the width are one second each and uh, far beyond our intended simulation time, okay? So uh, we can what we can do here is that, uh, what what is the simulation time we will need? 
So we want to analyze the transient response of this circuit. So here you can see that the time constant of our low pass filter is dominated by R1 and C1. So R1 has a value of 10K and one micron. So that comes out to be about 10 millisecond. So uh, we can start by at zero second and simulate the circuit until 50 millisecond because the RC time constant is 10 millisecond, okay? And we will use like thousand points and the step size would therefore be uh, 50 micron second, okay? 50 millisecond divided by thousand points. So, so what you need that when you load the circuit, the simulation command that we will use is this one, trans, that is the 50 microsecond step size and uh, simulate it from zero to 50 millisecond. That is what we will tell the NGSPY. So let us do that. I have opened this and then I will write this command source. And the name of the file is rc.cir. So you just say and then enter. So it 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 says that okay, no no compatibility mode selected. Uh, will not uh, care about that. But here you see the circuit has been loaded. Dual RC ladder, right? And then we want to write uh, perform the transient simulation. So tran, then space. And we'll say that 50 micron is the step size and 50 millisecond is the stop time of the simulation. So this simulation will start from zero seconds to 50 milliseconds and at the steps of 50 microns. So there are like thousand points. And once that is done, just click uh, enter. And you see now there are nodes, INT, IN and OUT. And you got this uh, initial transient solution. The voltages are there zero, and there is this branch current of V1. So where where are these nodes? Here, here are these nodes in INT and out. And this is our simulated uh, simulation window for the NG spice. Okay. So let me scroll down what we are going to do now. So we are done with this. Now I will show you the response of this uh, circuit. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to plot the different signals uh, for the circuit. So my circuit is right over here as I explained here. So what I'll do here, I will say use the plot command and I will say plot the input voltage. So I will say that, okay, and look at this. It is plotting me the, the pulse that is starting from zero, it goes to five. And then uh, it is like 50 millisecond. Okay. Now remember our period of the waveform uh, is one millisecond, uh, one second. And the width also of the pulse is one second. So that's pretty big. All right. So I will show you how to shorten that in a moment. Then I will say uh, plot. So I don't need to type it every time. What I can use on my keypad on the laptop, I can use the up down arrow. to just uh, get the commands back. Okay. So you see now all these commands I can recall. So it is plotting, I would say plot out now. So that's the response of your RC circuit. That is the output response. It is like, uh, uh, it is rising uh, exponentially and it is reaching the five volt at after certain time period. So this is the RC time constant, which is giving such a rise. I can also plot the intermediate voltage like INT. Remember we have that node. So here it is. So now you can see that there are three different plots for input, output, and the intermediate voltages. How about I want to plot all these in a single plot? So I can do that. I will close this. So instead of uh, doing that, I will say plot in space, INT space out, all three in a single graph. And this is how I got it. You see now the red one is the, the green one is the input signal. The blue one is the out and uh, intermediate that is also your uh, the uh, the pink one or the red one. So if you can you zoom in this one, can you zoom zoom in this size? So you actually can see it is giving me a dy by dx actually. If I do that, if I just uh, zoom in this portion and select this, so it gives me a dy by dx. Okay, so we'll, we'll explore that in more detail. How about, uh, so that's the response of your circuit, RC time constant, okay? 
how about i do some uh, little bit changes like okay so what we did here a little bit change now so now the pulse width is 10 millisecond and pulse uh, period is 20 milliseconds and then uh, i save this file let us save it and then i call this file again load this file in fact so this is my up and down arrow key on my keypad i don't need to write the command again and again and uh, this circuit has been loaded and then i will say okay run the transient simulation from one millisecond at the steps uh, from zero second to 100 milliseconds at the steps of one millisecond so there are like 100 points uh, i am using okay i will even mine it this so number of data rows like 245 and then i will ask it to plot in so now look at this my square waveform it just transitioned from 0 to 5 volt and at 10 millisecond it goes from 5 to 0 from 10 to 20 millisecond again from 0 it remains 0 and then again 5 volt and again then 0 5 0 5 all that things in this case uh I will say plot the intermediate voltage and also the out on the same plot and look at this. This is my response. Like uh, I have this uh, green is the input and the output is uh, in this fashion. So it just like uh, uh, you you have this RC circuit response the way it is. It is going to three volt, then it is three point five volt and steadily constant. Okay. What if I just do little bit changes instead of uh, one millisecond, I would say like uh, uh, 100 micron. Why not? And then I will say plot all those things. Now look at this. This is how the plot will change. So you can just play around and uh, see how the circuit will uh, behave and accordingly. Okay. So this is how we can uh, do the transient analysis. In this model, we learned how to perform transient analysis and we've got this RC circuit. Here also in this uh, tutorial, uh, they have shown you, this is the plot we showed in the beginning, like in, in and out, okay? So hope you found this uh, video useful and uh, if you did so, share it with others, okay? So the voltages at the in and INT and the out, uh, they barely differ, okay? Because the first R1C1 dominates the circuit, that's the first pole. And the time constant of the second, R2, second RC, that is R2C2, is a factor of 100 smaller. So charging C2 is quick and easy as compared to charging C1, okay? The voltage at the input node in, rises so fast that you do not see it slow. So here we don't see it slow, but we can do that if we if we change it here, just change it like 100 millisecond or something, the rise time or something, you'll see that. Okay, so I let it up to you and uh, see you again soon.